Good morning, kindergarten friends, and happy Friday. What do we say? Yay, it's Friday. I'm excited because it feels like spring and we are still in the month of May and all of the greens are greening up and the flowers are starting to bloom and it just brings a smile to my face. Let's take a look at our calendar. We are in the month of May. Yesterday was Thursday, May 21st. Today is Friday, May 22nd. Let's move the 22nd right there. And today is a special day for our student council. Today is the day that you are asked to head outside if you have some sidewalk chalk and draw a picture or a nice message to share with your community and your neighbors so that when they walk by, it'll bring a smile to their face. If you don't have chalk, that's okay. Maybe you could draw a picture and post it in our Google Classroom. Maybe you could find a rock that writes on the sidewalk. Sometimes there are rocks that are super soft and they leave a mark if you write with them. Get creative and see what you can do. All right, let's practice writing the date. I'm gonna turn on my pen. We are in the fifth month of the year. Today is the 22nd, two tens, two ones. And we are in the year 2020. So we write a 20. 5-22-20. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about our calendar. Um, tomorrow is Saturday. That's a stay home day, no school. And the next day is Sunday, another stay home day, no school. Now Monday is a special day. It's Memorial Day. Memorial Day is a special day where we don't have school. We celebrate with our families and we, we hang out together. Hopefully this weekend will be nice weather. You'll go outside. It's a long weekend. So there'll be no Google Classroom on Monday, May 25th. We will be back in the Google Classroom on Tuesday, May 26th. And look at that. It is a special friend's birthday on Tuesday. Our friend Mallory will be celebrating her birthday. So the first day we get back to school, we get to celebrate Mallory's birthday. How exciting is that? All right, let's keep going. Add a ones block to our day count. And it looks to me like we've got two ones. That means we still have six tens and 100. If I have 100, six tens and two ones, how many days have we been in school? You got it, 162. All right, let's make a window on our boards. A window on our boards, straight down, straight across. And I'm going to roll my dice and see what number of the day we get today. Oh my goodness, we have an itty bitty number today. This is gonna be so easy peasy for my kindergarten rock star mathematicians. My blue dice has two on this one. And, oh, I did a rectangle again, one on that one. How many all together? That's just three. But let's see what our pink dice says. Our pink dice has this many. Oh my goodness, that's just one. What's the number of the day, my friends? Four is the number of the day. So we did one plus three equals four. Let's do a subtraction problem with four. Maybe I have four cupcakes. One, two, three, four. Kind of like Pete the Cat. Maybe I'm headed over to his cupcake party. And I have four cupcakes to share. But guess what? Grumpy Toad stole some of my cupcakes. Let's see how many he stole. And I'm gonna have to be careful because if I roll a bigger number than four, I'm gonna have to roll again. All right, Grumpy Toad stole two of my cupcakes. That's as many as he stole in the book too. He stole two of them each time, didn't he? I think so. So if I had four cupcakes and Grumpy Toad came along and he gobbled up two of my cupcakes, how many do I have left? I have two left. You are right. Four minus two equals two. Let's do tally marks. One, two, three, four. We don't even get to five. So how can I write a number sentence? Hmm. Oh, you're right. You do remember this happened to us before. We have four over here. 
How many do we have over here? Zero. That means four plus zero equals four. It stays the same number. Good work, my friends. All right, erase your boards or pause it. And now we are going to do our morning message. All right, I'm going to write, we have no school on Monday. Let's see if you can try that. I'll write it, but maybe you know some of the words and can start it on your own. We, let's start with that one. Write the sounds you hear. We have have that is a snap word for some of my friends we have no write the sounds you hear no we have no school now this is a tricky one you can write the sounds you hear and that's a perfect way for a kindergartner to write it but it's also a word that's tricky and it doesn't look exactly like it sounds. So it's a good word to turn into a snap word and just make your brain remember it. Let me show you. School. 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 We have no school on. On is a snap word. Monday, write those sounds you hear. Monday. Oh, my mouse is not working. There we go, Monday. Oh my goodness. First he was writing too small, now my mouse is going crazy and writing too big. And a period at the end. Look at what I did. I did a capital M for Monday because the days of the week are just like our names and they get capital letters. We have no school on Monday. All right, my friends, finish up your morning message and then check back into the Google Classroom. I am so excited about a new activity today. I'm going to introduce you to flat Mrs. Hubble. Ah, so exciting. Check out the rest of the stuff in the Google Classroom and I will see you soon. Have a great extended weekend and happy Memorial Day.